Okay, hopefully I'm online. Um, I'm today playing uh, the alpha pre-alpha release R11, uh, release 11 of Shadow the Avatar Forsaken Virtues. This is gearing up for a Steam Early Access, uh, the result of which is this is the first, for the first time it's available on Steam if you're a, a backer of the project. project. Uh, if you sign up for, through the website, which I did several releases ago. I'm going to start it off now. Now I did start it up just a minute ago to uh, to uh, get the window dimensions for the screen recording. Um, uh, I'm just checking I'm streaming. I presume I am. Maybe not. Flash doesn't seem to work on this, this computer anyway. So yes, there's now you can download it through Steam. It's um it's an alpha game. Don't expect stuff to work well or fast. And yeah, it worked. <coughs> so only two of the four options are available at the minute. Uh, really, multiplayer online is is the only uh, option worth. Worth looking at the minute, I think. There's no, there's no quest there. All right. So each release, they're not persistent. So each release, you have to uh, recreate a character. And I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be quite large. Uh, let's see. How much like that hair? No, no. No dear. Yes, I think bald is safest. What sort of moustache will I have this time? Trimmed moustache, let's go for it. Blue eyes. Ooh, evil blue. Sort of purple. I think we'll go for blue eyes. I don't know that I'm going to mess with any of this. I suppose I could probably work out make it look more or less like me. That I'll have to do is I'm not that bothered. Let's see. Let's be a bit pudgy up. What else can I customise? Jaw. No, I think we'll go for that. <coughs> so basically, there's every month so far, there's been a, uh, a release weekend where a bunch of people get on the service for the weekend, run around, Hack of stuff, try stuff out. Um, I've done a number of videos on my YouTube channel, but really I've not I've not paid much attention to it so far as far as actually learning how to do the game elements of it. If you see what I mean, right. yes, yeah, it's, it's a role playing game. If you're not aware, uh, it's uh, Richard Garriott, the uh, creator of Ultima. So, where am I? Gamer. What I expect is tour guide, right? So in in the last release in this one, there's a tour guide, right? And if you uh, you find him in all these places, you get a special hat, which is a unique item. You, uh, you get to keep forever. Right. Lunar Rift. I'm probably not going to do the whole thing. Let's just have a quick look at my skills. So you get a... Um, 
get a default set of skills to save you worrying about any of that stuff. But you can you can reset it and, and redistribute it. I'm not going to bother. That's it. Try uh, that. Let's have a look. Yeah, I wonder where my hat is. So what should have happened last time was I got a hat. We're doing the doing the quest. Evidently. It's not there now. Uh, I don't know what that is then. Uh, character sheet. So maybe I'll get the hat back in the end. I'm a bit concerned though. <coughs> Ooh. Let's get a bit of an angle. Uh, I can't walk three people quickly. Still trying to work out where I am exactly. Can I get a map up? No. So it's possible the way out is this way. Really, all I want to do is get to Al's head at this point. If I'm not already in Al's head. If I'm not Braemar, that's what it said, wasn't it? Yes. Some glitching going on in the graphics. But it usually does that sort of thing. Don't worry about it overly. As I said, it is an alpha. get down to optimise all the graphics and stuff before the release I think. Now there is a combat system which is a bit like a uh, you know one of those card games. Alright I'm out. I'm out. <coughs> so to understand it one of the improvements in this this release is the map is um, now more interactive, and everything everything you can possibly enter is indicated. I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, so I can enter railway south. So the areas that I'm running through that look like blank areas, which I assumed actually until I read about this update, were blank areas actually often contain um, scenes, they're called, in the terminology of the game. You can enter and do battle and, and what have you. Al's head is up here at the top, look. I don't know how accurate I have to be to cross the bridge. There we go. Let's enter Al's head. Streaming for 10 minutes. I don't really intend to do this for too long. Um, I may get carried away though. Al's head in past releases sometimes had some issues with just you know the sheer volume of, of data of players there. Since this release is only a few hours in, I'm hoping we'll be alright. I've not got a particularly powerful PC. So, I did in Spears problem. My brother, who's got a much better graphics card, didn't. He was able to get into these areas just fine. Um, 58% and come on, come on. 
Okay, well, I'm in LZ. I'm just trying to hide the video preview on Twitch. There we go, right. So, up there, oh, there's a tour guide. Let's go and talk to him. Oh, he's a decorations trader. Interesting. Looks like a tour guide. <laughs> I didn't want to run into you, yes. <coughs> so, a bunch of people waiting for this portal. So, so what it does is, Battle of Solace Bridge. Is that one of the places I need to go to? Yes. I need to speak to the tour guide in Solace Bridge. So let's double click and go to Solace Bridge. Now, Solace Bridge in, the, in this version is two locations, but ultimately it's a. Um, they'll be the same location, but at different times of year. One will be sort of after the battle, and one one will be during a battle. I think. <coughs> Something like that, anyway. I would have to check the details. Right. Uh, quite pretty. There's a tour guide. Oh, there's a skeleton. How entertaining. Hello, tour guide. I wrote this in my journal. Let's exit the... Let's get the chat. I always do that. So that's new. The way the way it switches to a um yes. skeleton footman. And we'll get my sword out again. Attack him? No, I can't. Let's put the sword away again then. Let's go and have a look at the bridge while we're in it. And this game is built on Unity, so it's not it's not the um, it's not the cutting edge of graphical um, Cutting edge of graphical um, graphical technology, but I do think. Oh, oops! I'm chatting. I didn't mean to do that. Let's get my sword out again. Let's go and attack Watcher. And what is it? Button to auto attack. And I can't remember what it is. No. T. Oops. I'm working out. Let's have a look in the help. Alright, let's put the sword away and then look in the help. Oh, oh, options, controls, right. Toggle GUI, zoom in, zoom out. Quick swap deck. Quick discard. Oh, target party members, target self. T. Yeah, no. T. Yeah. I was pressing that. Let's 
Get him. There we go. I killed him. Not that it did me any good. Alright. Well, I'm not messing with anything else. I'm going to put my sword away. I don't need any more. Let's head back. Where's this going next? I'm just stand there all this time. Head back to Mars Head and see what the next destination is. <coughs> this might be slow again. So, yeah, as I was saying earlier, Richard Garriott, who is famous for writing the Ultima series of games, culminating in Ultima Online, one of the first uh, MMO-style games. Um, and this is this is a sort of spiritual successor to those those uh, Ultima-style games. And it comes from a, an actual, you know, tabletop role-playing background. So his his game designs have always had sort of slant that way I think oh, we're back right so I've been there to the next destination Solace Bridge so I've been to Solace Bridge, we went Raven's War, Mystery Swamp, Kingsport Sewer, Cardboard War Camp, right. So like I said, that's going to change. That's going to change every so often. Um, let's have a look what we can do while we're waiting. Emote. for it then. Why oh, can't I blow a kiss? There we go, I can cheer. I can bow. Let's do a dance. That's not a very interesting one. Oh, I like that one better. Yeah, there's some woman in the middle of my dancing. Face palm, love it. Stand. Royal wave. Ah. Ah, well, right. I'm supposed to get some um, bonus emotes. Oopsie. I some oats for being a backer, but again, it's possible there's some step I've missed. I'm not supposed to know. Where can we go to now? The Battle of Solace Bridge. Let's go and have a look at that. Let's go into the PvP arena. Well, I'll probably die really quickly. I'm just going to have a quick pop in and look and then come back. That's what I'm going to do. No messing around. Alright, I need not bother coming here actually. This is the, the same scene in a different version, obviously uh, more war-torn. Um, nothing much going on here at the minute, doesn't look to be anyone fighting. And I'd almost certainly die if I, if I got involved, so let's not do that. Alright, what are we up to? 
20 minutes of recording. So let's see if I can find... See if I can find one more location to speak to a tour guide. I can then call it a night. I think you can get to several of them from Owl's Head. So we'll see what the um, see what the destination is after after Solace Bridge. Oh, sorry, the Battle of Solace Bridge. That was the last one, wasn't it? Keyframe flag errors. So I wonder if this is even recording at all. Where's it going now? Back on Solace Bridge still. Just running around the countryside for a bit. So it's just goes back to Solace Bridge. So let's see if I can find on the map one of the other places. Ravensmoor. I'm just going to speak to the tour guide. Ah, oh, he wasn't tour guide, was he? The decorations trader. fails to record stuff, but it's happened before. Empty. Let's see if we can get over that bridge. No. There we go. So where's Raven's more likely to be? Ravens more. Let's go for it. So these tours are a, a, a way of getting players to visit the new areas and basically exercise the the game. If you see what I mean, shake out bugs with uh, lots of players in action. I think it was it tried for the first time in R10. It was quite successful. I got myself a hat, as I said, although I seem not to have it. I should also have like found this cloak thing. What's this? Far end of mental. Maca, right. Let us find the tour guide then. Yeah. Shame some sort of battle.
Oops. Probably I should just not mess with skeletons. Oh dear. Oh, lots of skeletons. Many skeletons. Many skeletons attacking me. Ow. Fire mental woman. So, who's stolen the tour guide? Because I presume he's around here somewhere. Well, I'm going to die. No, I'm going to dead. I am dead. Yes. So, where is the tour guide? This I still don't know. People are chatting. This will be a fun place to come later, I think. When I'm actually trying to do the combat. I think in the meantime, I'm just going to run away. I'm running away, what can I say? Let's head back to Braemar. See if just visiting counted or whether I actually need to speak to a tour guide. Oh, I think you might have to speak to a tour guide, but never mind. That's something I'll just come back and do later this weekend. She's not wearing any clothes. Progress. Alright, from the previous Solon's Bridge. So what do I need to do on Ravens Moor? Just within the cave's entrance. Alright, well... Oh, naked woman again, semi-naked. I'm going to leave it there. That was just a first, a first look. I'll probably do some proper videos. That guy doesn't look happy at all. Tart. Ha 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 ha. Very amusing. 
very amazing. What, what, what's flex? <laughs> Dancing. So a headstand. Hey, nice. All right, calling it a day. Uh, I'll do some YouTube videos later in the weekend.